Hello, great people. It's a delight, some pleasure to have you today here on our Sunday Mobile Church. I am in your very own evangelist, Mark Miracle. I am very glad to have you. Today we are discussing a very short, precise, and a very important topic. The question everyone must answer. There is a question which every human being created by God must answer. In the book of Matthew chapter 22 verse Verse 2, it says, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a king which made a marriage for his son and set and sent forty servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would come. Look at verse 8. It says, Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which are bidden were not worthy. As long as life is consigned, every human being created by God has a question to answer to him. Just like the television you bought has a question to answer to you when you own it. Just like your DVD player has a question to answer to you. Just like your children have a question, have questions to answer to you. The same God who made us on, in his own image have a question to ask us here on earth or after here on earth look at verse 10 it says so those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both bad and good and the wedding was furnished with guests yeah they called all the people from the highways they were all invited into the wedding the wedding was filled with guests just like our religious centers the mosques the churches are filled with people he said the wedding was filled with people but listen to this and when the king came to see the guest, when Jesus will come again, when the trumpet will sound, when God will send his begotten son to come and rapture the saints, and when the king come to see the guest, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Jesus will serve people that are not fit for the kingdom. Jesus will see girls that are not fit for the kingdom. Jesus will see boys that are not fit for the kingdom. He will see pastors that are not fit for the kingdom. He will see evangelists, apostles, people that are not fit for the kingdom. But I pray it will not be you in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at verse 12. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. This is a question every human being will answer. God will ask, how did you come here? After my son had died, after he sacrificed his life in the cross of Calvary, how come you are still like this? How come you are unfit for the kingdom? How come you are unfit for, the, for this wedding? How come you don't have the wedding garment? How come you are sinful? How come you are not fit for the kingdom of God? And I believe that you listening to this message today will not be among those that Jesus will ask, how come you are not putting on the wedding garment? Because Jesus will come. Take it or leave it. Heaven is real. Hell is real. There are so many things going on that you have to wake up on your own self and study the Bible by yourself and tell yourself the truth that Jesus is coming soon. The world is filled with messages that are not no longer edifying the soul. The messages that are no longer edifying the Christians. This is why God is bringing this call to you this morning. This is why God is bringing this call on our mobile church. There is a question every human being must answer. There is a question I must answer preaching, myself talking. There is a question I must answer. God will ask those people following you on social media. How many of them did you tell them that I'm coming soon? How many of them that you, did you tell them that Jesus is coming soon? How many of the people in your churches? you tell that Jesus is coming soon? How many of the people following you have you been able to tell that Jesus is coming soon? There is a question every man must answer. There is a question every woman must answer. There is a question every pastor will answer. There is places you left the souls that Jesus has given unto you. The places you are leaving the soul that Jesus has given unto you is it to heaven to the thing, or to the things that are perishable. Our messages these days are filled with things that are perishable. Our messages these days are filled with things that do no longer last. The things that you cannot take even to the grave. Take that car to the graveyard. They will, they, 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 you will see that people will dig it up and take it off from, from the grave. Take the gold to the graveyard. People will dig you up and take off the gold from you. But you cannot take them to heaven. The only thing you will take to heaven is a holy heart. The, the, the heart that is clean, the heart that is prepared to see the Lord. Hear me, great minds. There is nothing as important as your soul. There is nothing as important as your life. 
There is nothing as important as where you are going to after your life on, in, on earth. There is nothing as important than the, the life here, hereafter. Life is good. Enjoyment is good. The gold is sweet. The money is good. But what happens after here? What happens after spending those money? What happens after wearing those gold? Okay, we have seen you. You own those gold. You own those money. You own those riches. What happens after them? My dearly beloved, the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 14 says, And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which say, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and should heal them. Their eyes are seen, but they cannot perceive. Their ears are hearing, but they cannot understand, so that they will not be converted. They hear many words of God. They hear from every man of God. Every Sundays, every day of the week, we see people preaching on the TV. We hear, we see, but we cannot perceive that the time is near. We cannot perceive that Jesus is coming soon. We cannot perceive to know that which is very important now. There is nothing more important than amending your ways with God. Amending your life so that when Jesus comes, he will not ask you, why are you not wearing that wedding gown? It is very important that you amend your ways. It is very important that I amend my ways. I tell you, so many people do not want to preach this message any longer. It has been messages of earthly pleasures. But Jesus is giving you this message afresh again. He is coming again to rapture the saints. And you will answer a question. I will answer a question. The pastor will answer a question. The children you, you have will answer a question. But the question will be, why are you not wearing the wedding gown? Why are you not wearing holiness? The wedding gown represents holiness, righteousness, purity of heart. Holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Why are you not wearing that garment? That is the only thing that God demands of, of us. For us to be rapturable as for us to be rapturable at last. I see you in heaven and you see me in heaven at last. This is the only question that God wants us to answer today. And I believe as you amend your ways, Jesus will see you and will see me wearing that garment when he comes to rapture the saints. Say this prayer after me if you are not born again. Lord Jesus, I come unto you as a sinner. Forgive my sins. I confess that Jesus came to die for me. And I confess that you are the Lord and my personal Savior. Forgive my sins. I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. In case you are wondering how to live a Christian life, how to, to continue from here, what to do next after this stage, you are confused about life. I am always here to direct you according to the word of God. My number is at the end of the advert playing now. God bless you. We believe you were blessed with today's episode of Pure Gospel Moment. For prayers, testimonies, or further inquiries, you can reach Mac Miracle on plus 234-812-328-8593. That is plus 234-812-328-8593. God bless you real good. Joel 2 verse 28 And it shall come to pass afterward, and I will part my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. It is time to spread the undiluted gospel to the dying world. An expository moment wrapped up with the power of the Holy Ghost. This is Pure Gospel Moment with Mac Miracle. Get set for an encounter with a God who changes identity. <laughs>